Alrighty, I got the printer in place. It was a little tricky with the crutches and all since I had the knee surgery. Open the front door, get the provided tool, unscrew these two front bolts. Now you can remove the AMS. Hmm, I don't think this is supposed to stick out. And don't forget to remove the lid. Remember, it's not hinged, so it will come off all on its own like this, so be careful. Find all the red arrows, which will tell you where a screw needs to be removed. Don't forget these two that are down here and right behind there underneath the tray. And also all the way back here in the back. Screws are removed. Let's get the spare mats out of the way. Go ahead and remove the piece of foam in the trash chute and the carbon HEPA filter and port. Let's also pop this off our hot end. Whenever you see a green tab, go ahead and remove it. Be careful with this front plate though. It's only held on by magnets. And here's a demonstration. So in order to get all these foam pieces out, we're gonna have to raise the bed. So go ahead and grab the screen itself. Comes with a few nice tools, a little Allen key, as well as a very sharp needle prod. So be very careful. And don't forget your power cable. I do wish it was a bit longer, but it is what it is. And for those running a print farm, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon does use about 350 watts of power. And to install the screen itself, there are four tabs with a little gap on the edge of each one of them. There are four holes right here in the front. You will then slot them in and push them to the left, locking the screen in place. Just wanted to say that ribbon cables can be very delicate, so be careful when removing this tape as well as taking this connector and connecting it to the screen itself. If you damage this ribbon cable, you're gonna have a really, really bad time. The screen is in place another peel and both the power cable and the power button are located in the back go ahead and switch them on success the lights should be on and go ahead and navigate through the menu screen once you get to this screen you choose whether or not you want to link up your printer to the bamboo lab app once you get to this screen the printer needs to calibrate so ensure that this this and that bolt are all removed to allow the print bed to move freely once those three bolts are removed click next and then calibrate I should probably mention during this calibration process, I would highly recommend you have your printer on something solid because it can vibrate a lot. And while the printer is calibrating, you can go ahead and remove the last bit of foam as well. And once that finishes, the startup is done. Once you get to the main menu, click this nut over here, which will bring you to check if there's any software updates. It looks like there is one. Let's go ahead and update. And in regards to the AMS unit, go ahead and place it on top of the glass panel you removed previously. There will be a PTFE2 coming out of your AMS unit. Go ahead and take that end right there and put it in this hole. There will also be some important cables that come with your kit. One with six pins and one with four. Take your six pin cable and connect it here. The one that is away from the input here. This other one over here is actually going to be used to allow you to daisy chain a bunch of AMS units together in the near future. Once you've connected your six pin cable here, go ahead and take the other end and then connect it right here. And for the four pin connector, there'll be one port right here and one over here. I like how Bamboo Lab also took cable management into account because uh, it's clip right here. And once your AMS unit is wired up, go ahead and connect back over here, which will then have a firmware update for your AMS unit. There should also be a cover and a carbon filter. Take the carbon filter and put it in right here and the cover right over it. The AMS comes with two desiccant packs. Go ahead and remove the cover for each one of those and take the desiccants out of their clear plastic bags. The Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon is all set up. Time to put a benchy. Holy hell, this thing is fast. That is insane. Look at it go. This is absolutely a gorgeous looking benchy. Especially for how fast it was printed. There isn't even any stringing. Dang.